Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Doing a Walk. I haven't walked in a few days because the last 20 minutes I did when I did stairs and walking ended up having to let my calves rest and were in pain for a few days and whenever your body's hurting really bad to where you can't handle it it's time to give it a rest let it build back up so you always got to listen to your body when you're exercising it's God's way of telling you there's something wrong so always listen to your body Walking up the evening, walking indoors because it's cold outside again. But and actually, I'll start doing this every time for the fact that doing walking and stairs is better for you than just walking. If I'm struggling, it's where I need to be. So, yeah, I've seen last time. I was struggling towards the end on the stairs. So we're gonna do the stairs and try to take my time. I have a habit of walking fast and when you're exercising, you know you'd be walking fast. You'd be taking your time. It's not a mirror though. It's exercise. Whereas I might be a little extra tired tonight. It's been a few days since I did it. So we'll see how it goes. Give my body a chance to get back up to it. Whew. Hey, they got the light fixed over here. It was out last time we did this. This is fine. And this is where I was dark the last time. At least I got that fixed. That's good. Definitely going to be a workout tonight. Getting self built back up. So, what I want to talk about is ways to share the Lord. One thing I'm doing, I've started gaming on my phone a uh, social app and um, I showed you the intro of the app. Um, it's called um, uh, no, I can't think of the name but I'll <laughs> But anyway, I'll put a link to the game. It's in one of my previous videos. It was um, it's the one where you're running a sorority house or something, and you go do collaboration and stuff. People, man, I can't think of the name of it right now. I don't know what it was. But I'll, I'll put the name in the description when I get back and can look it up and let you know the name of that. So I always add hashtags to everything we talk about in my videos that way you know what the video is about. Second time going up the stairs. See how that does. Hopefully I'll 
better than last time this time. My legs will be able to handle it this time and not be hurting afterwards. And I can do it every day. But I may have to do it so many days and then give my body a rest. That's the thing about working out. You want to be steady and constant, but you don't want to do it to the fact you hurt yourself. So, when you're exercising, always be aware of your body. Don't push yourself to you, know, you break something. Push yourself just enough to keep going. Let your body tell you when it needs a break, but never cease. You know, as soon as your body ain't hurting, get back at it just like me. I yesterday I was doing okay. I'm trying to close the doors easy, not to disturb people this late. But uh I could go yesterday, but I was still hurting. A little bit. So I decided to wait one more day. And uh Sasha. Here we are going again. So but then we get back to home about I'm in a social game when I go in I say hi to everybody. I think I say God bless. I say what I am. I always open myself up. If someone needs someone to talk to, I say feel free to PM me. Because I'm trying to be there for people. And maybe through helping them, I can lead them closer to the Lord and help them be where they need to be. Now I'm not going to push anything on anyone though. I'm just gonna see what they're dealing with, pray with them if they want it, and talk to them about the Lord. It's a way to help without being pushy. It's one of two games I'm playing right now that are like that. So that's where I am with what I feel the Lord wants me to do to help reach people. There must be someone, eventually be someone in that game that I'll talk to that will do some good. Later on tonight, I'm going to do another video that answers the age-old question. A lot of people joke about, and some people actually seriously want to know. And I've heard this a few times, so I'm going to be talking about the real reason we park on a driveway and why we drive on a parkway. And short answer, before I get into the main answer, parkways and driveways were made before there was ever cars. And when they were made, they were made for a whole different reason than what we use them today. It's kind of like sayings in a way, you know. Words have different meanings throughout the years. All right, take a minute break here. A little out breath. Take a minute to catch up here. It's done. It doesn't hurt to take a little break. Especially when your heart's starting to raise. A little out breath. But, um, I do hope this video is inspirational for you. And I pray that 
this helps you in some way, you know. My videos all are about improving people and helping people. And try to answer tough questions if anybody comes to me with a question. I'll do my best to answer it. Alright, back to it. A little break when we need it. Doesn't hurt. It's only a few seconds off my time. Alright. That's three times up the stairs. I have to take a break, that ain't bad. Let's see how it goes here. So basically, you can do six sets of stairs in the time I'm doing it. And we're talking five flights of stairs. So six sets of five flights of stairs plus the walking. In 20 minutes, I don't think that's too bad. Let me know what you guys think about that. So, like I was saying, we want to talk to people about the Lord. Sometimes the best way to do it is someone's going through something. Sometimes that's a way the Lord's, the Lord's working on them. And then you might be the person to talk to them and help them find the Lord in their time of need. Like the Lord said, Jesus said, when people are talking about why is he going to where all the sinners live, he said, Well, the doctor doesn't go to the ones who are healed, he goes to the ones who are sick and heals the sick. Because the people not sick don't even need a doctor. What he was really saying is, we need to go to the sinners. The people who are not saved and don't know Jesus and try to get them saved, help them. And you can talk to people in many different ways. For me, I'm doing something a little different. I'm playing games because I'm a gamer. That's what I got to do for fun. In turn, I'm using that to be a way to minister to people who might need it in that game. I might not even know they need it. Then we get to talking. Next thing you know, you're helping someone. They didn't even know they need help. Takes a while to get used to this stuff. Stairs are definitely a challenge. Walking's one thing, but doing stairs is a whole new ball game. I'm struggling. I'm gonna do it every time because that's where I need to gain. You know, there's they say no pain, no gain. It's really if you're not struggling, you're not gaining. Pain isn't always a good thing. Like I said, it could be your body's way of saying, hey, you need to stop, we have an issue. Alright. <laughs> a little off there. <laughs>
And then we're going downstairs. And see what can go on up. Of course, downstairs, you got gravity helping you along. Upstairs, it's all you. So. This is a good workout. Um, I'm definitely sweating. When I'm walking, I wasn't really sweating as much. Now I'm sweating. So I'm really working my body out. And one thing I do, I got a pox leader. I always check my oxygen and stuff and see how I'm doing. Last time, I was doing real good, even though I was hurting. But oxygen stuff was up. And I was told, you know, walking, working out helps with your asthma, helps to build you up. It really has been helping me. I'm doing really good. So, when you start working out, good idea to get you a pox, ox, you know, a little thing you put on your finger in it. Checks your heart rate and oxygen. It's good to have one of those. Doesn't really tell you if you're in trouble or not. If you don't have respiratory issues, you may not have an issue, but it's always good to check it. So I highly recommend getting one if you're just getting started. That way you can see where you are. And if you have an issue, you could possibly talk to your doctor, say, you know, I've started working out. I got this ox, ox meter, and my oxygen stuff's going way right down. And the doctor might check you out and find out you have something going on that you need taken care of. So always think of health whenever you're doing anything, even working out. Always be aware of your health. If you have any signs of any issues. You know what, I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm going up the stairs, and then when I go back down, I'll be heading out to the apartment. Perfect timing. Got two more flights to go. Less than three minutes to go. Doing good. I'm gonna try to go the rest of the way without stopping. Push a little bit. And this is my last flight. So, uh, okay, get in our stuff. And that's why I put struggle on these videos. Because I want you to see it ain't always easy. When you're getting started, you're going to struggle. But the struggle gets less with each given time. Body's gonna build up. You just gotta keep pushing. Without pushing too much, you hurt yourself though. Alright. That's it. Last leg on the rock. Alright. Last time going to the fifth. Head down to three. It's been a good run. I pray for everyone watching this video. If there's any need you need, man, I just pray. In the name of Jesus, He touched you and take care of the needs. Anything you got going on. And I thank you all for watching. I praise the Lord for you. I hope you have a great day. Or night, you know, when you're watching. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Yeah.
Amen. Amen. Thanks for watching.